it's a bit of a coping mechanism, I think, for a lot of us. It's a mix of emotions as Folklorama's Ukraine Kiev Pavilion opens its doors here in Manitoba to share and celebrate Ukrainian history and culture at the world's largest and longest running multicultural festival. Folklorama provides an opportunity for people to experience different cultures from around the world. The Ukraine Kyiv Pavilion has been closed for two years due to COVID-19, and now with the war between Russia and Ukraine entering its sixth month, there are mixed feelings for those putting on one of the original and largest pavilions being offered at the annual festival. For myself and I think a lot of others, we've really tried to channel our emotions and our anxieties and our uh, fears and uh, our defiance, to be honest, um, in uh, in just helping in any way that we can. So that's um, in a way of what being uh, what putting this pavilion has been about for a lot of us. I think Mariana Sklopovich has family members living in Ukraine and says, like many others, helping make this pavilion possible. Her heart is with those still trapped inside the war zone. The Ukraine Kiev Pavilion is being supported by the Ukrainian Canadian Congress Manitoba Provincial Council, who are using revenues from the pavilion to provide humanitarian aid and medical supplies to people in Ukraine, as well as help Ukrainian newcomers establish their new lives here in Canada. It's a bit of a mix of emotions, for sure, having that kind of excitement of being back together, but also having our hearts and our minds still uh, on the other side of the world and with the people there. But this is a celebration, says Klopovich. Ukraine has a rich history full of colorful artwork, dazzling attire, delicious food, beautiful music and dancing, she says, that people who attend the pavilion this year will get to experience. Yeah, I'm just really excited to be able to share my culture with other people. Emily Lescu is one of the youth ambassadors for the pavilion and says it's been a heartwarming experience to reconnect with the wider Ukrainian community in Manitoba. Manitoba. Adult ambassador Miles Burdenyuk is looking forward to sharing the music of his 144 string cymbale. It is one of the traditional instruments of the mountainous region. Um, I'm also uh, dressed in the cultural attire of the Hutzel region, which is um, in the Carpathian Mountains uh, in uh, western Ukraine. And um, so this instrument was played especially for dances like the Arkan, which is a circle dance, very uh, regional dance there. And dancing is definitely on display. There is also a kid's zone and cultural exhibit to visit, along with traditional food offerings like cabbage rolls and pierogies. The menu also features borscht with a twist. Our secret menu item they've been trying to keep under wraps but has been way too popular is our borscht Caesars. Marcin Pesak with Baltic Brothers Craft Infusions says mixing the classic Canadian Caesar with the savory Ukrainian borscht creates a unique and refreshing beverage symbolic of what Folklorama is all about. The combination of the two is a meld of cultures and it's a true uh, tribute to what the spirit of Folklorama is right in a cocktail. Folklorama runs until August 13th. Sklopovich says the amount of community support shown to the pavilion already has been incredible. We've been very humbled uh, by the response we've gotten so far. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.